first thing that you must check is the lights. This is the lock. The lights on the keyboard. And this is the cups lock light. Cups lock here. And the third light for most keyboards is the scroll lock that's out down. If those lights are lighting, which means that your input from the inside of your CPU are okay. The RAM processor they are sending signals, but your monitor is not receiving. So check the VGA cable first. Check if they are tighten up on the, on the screws or you can detach it and see if there are dented pins if, they, if there are dirt on it then next you return properly the VJ cable if it is necessary you can use another VGA cable if you doubt your VGA cable so next you must see is the VGA connected on the monitor right here so check if there are, there are dots there, there are bended pins or dust that is affecting the display of our computer. Check if the screws are tightened up. Then return it in a proper way. Okay. And check your monitor if it has a power light. If no display, the power light is orange usually. If there is a display, the power light is blue or green for some monitors so by that we can see the lights are blinking if it is still no signal no input input not supported then you can replace the VGA cable or use another monitor in cases that the lights are off so this is the hard part if the lights are off in the gum lock, screw lock, or cup lock, no lights, then this is time that you will go, go through inside of your casing. It is, just, it is not necessary to pull out the motherboard, but for this demo, I pull out the motherboard and check. The first thing that you must check is the memory. This is the random access memory. So, you lock it side to side, pull it out, and check all these golden, gold coated contacts. Check if there are dirt, bones, or just dust. If there is, then you can use an eraser to remove them, or you can use a cloth. Do not rub the eraser so hard because it can damage your memory. It will remove the contacts. If your memory is somewhere like contact, then I hope so. Your memory is good, but also it is bad because the original color, color is gold painted. So next thing that you must check is the processor. Be careful in this process because the processor is our central processing unit and it is the brain of the computer. Once it is damaged, then you're gonna have a big problem. Processor is costly than the memory. Check if do not touch. Check if there are dirt or rust. If there is. You can use a clean paintbrush and brush the dirt smoothly. 
Or you can use a blower if you have blower to blow the dust in the motherboard slots. Just blow it there in the memory slot. You blow it there. Then you can check manually if there are possible uh, appearance of dust. Then return everything. If the then you check if there is a improvement of our basic repair or basic remedy. Check if the if the problem is solved. If it is not, then our last choice for the to the first aid remedy is to reset the motherboard. So how to reset? In most motherboards, they can be reset by removing the CMOS battery. But first, you must transfer the jumper for the jumper from that is the is mostly it is a J CMOS. You must uh, you can clean the CMOS battery. This is this is the CMOS battery, and there is a jumper. You can find in most motherboards in the bottom and or just beside this CMOS battery. Uh, it is likely or most it is one or two pins that is that are being jumpered. For you to reset the motherboard, you transfer it from one two two. Two and three pins, you jump with them. The next, you should circuit the single slot. Yes, to discharge the unnecessary static energy in your motherboard. By doing this, you time your settings. And the bio settings will be set to the default. After which, after you reset the motherboard, you turn the pins. Pin setting, which is one and two, being jumpered. This pin is just what they open as J CMOS. Okay, and then you return the battery, and that's it. If the problem is still not solved, then you're gonna have to contact me or to the nearest tech in your area. Thank you for watching and see you next time.